Hesperidin is a flavonoid and it's found in orange peels and it has many potential health benefits, including relieving the symptoms of vessel conditions like chronic venous insufficiency and hemorrhoids, lowering blood pressure and helping with diabetes and its complications. Hesperidin is a flavonoid glycoside and it's mainly found in citrus fruits like oranges and tangerines. Upon consumption, it's degraded by gut bacteria in the colon. A similar flavonoid also found in citrus fruit is hesperitin. Some studies use the hesperitin instead of the hesperidin, often because the injection of synthetic hesperitin produces faster effects than consuming the high amounts of hesperidin. Some sources are oranges, tangerines, lemons and limes. It's also found in dang shen or codonopsis, Japanese catnip, Indian valerian, and peppermint. Chronic venous insufficiency is commonly known as varicose veins and it's a condition where the walls and the valves in the veins fail to work. As a result the blood can't be returned to the heart and it pools in the legs, increasing the blood pressure until the smallest blood vessels, the capillaries, burst. This can cause local inflammation and tissue damage, swelling and even ulcer formation. Chronic venous insufficiency can generally be improved with non-invasive procedures like wearing compression stockings, avoiding tight clothes, exercising more, losing weight, elevating the legs and avoiding long periods of sitting or standing. In more severe cases, the doctor might suggest procedures such as sclerotherapy, laser treatments, catheter assisted procedures, vein stripping and endoscopic vein surgery. Daflon is a purified citrus flavonoid mixture and it contains 10% hesperidin and 90% diosmin. The Daflon administration inhibits the inflammatory response and the free radical production in the vessels. It reduces the swelling and it protects the tissue. Six clinical trials on almost 500 people with chronic venous insufficiency found that Daflon improved capillary resistance, ulcer healing, vein elasticity and blood flow. Another mixture with hesperidin, vitamin C and butcher's broom extract also improved the chronic venous insufficiency symptoms in a meta-analysis of 25 studies on over 10,000 people. All in all, the existing evidence suggests that both Daflon and Cyclotree Fort improve the chronic venous insufficiency symptoms. Hemorrhoids are swollen veins in the anus and the rectum. They're similar to varicose veins. The hemorrhoids are often relieved by eating high fibre foods, applying over-the-counter ointment or suppositories, regularly soaking them in warm water and taking oral painkillers. Hemorrhoids with persistent pain or bleeding may be treated with minimally invasive procedures like rubber band ligation, sclerotherapy or coagulation techniques. Severe cases that don't respond to these procedures might require surgical removal or stapling. A flavonoid mixture with 10% hesperidin, 90% diosmin called Daflon, improved the hemorrhoid symptoms such as the pain, bleeding, heaviness, itching and anal discharge in clinical trials on over 700 people. The Daflon also reduced pain and bleeding after the surgical removal and the stapling of hemorrhoids in two trials on almost 300 people. Similarly, the mixture of hesperidin with other flavonoids such as diosmin, troxorutin, rutin and quercetin reduce pain, swelling, bleeding and painkiller use in two clinical trials on over 200 people. Both orange juice and a drink with hesperidin reduce the production of pro-inflammatory proteins by the white blood cells in a small trial on 10 people. In four clinical trials on over 200 people, supplementation with hesperidin reduced inflammation that was caused by conditions such as heart attack, non-alcoholic fatty liver disease, type 2 diabetes and metabolic syndrome. Hesperidin also reduced the levels of inflammatory cytokines and messengers in rats and cells. Although the results are promising, further clinical trials would be needed to establish the use of hesperidin in inflammatory conditions. Both hesperidin and hesperitin 
function as antioxidants. Both have free radical scavenging activity, meaning they stop free radicals from damaging the cells. In a clinical trial on 16 healthy people, a mixture of citrus flavonoids increased the antioxidant activity after meals, and this helps to prevent chronic disease development. In another trial on 25 men with high blood cholesterol, orange juice increased the antioxidant activity and the blood hesperitin levels. This might help to prevent heart disease by preserving the blood vessel function. In two clinical trials on 28 people with type 1 diabetes and 64 with type 2 diabetes, oral hesperidin increased the total antioxidant capacity while reducing the DNA and fatty molecule damage by the free radicals. The hesperidin had significant radical scavenging activity in the red blood cells and it stopped hydrogen peroxide from damaging the membranes. It also protected several tissues from DNA damage possibly helping to prevent diabetic complications. All in all, the limited evidence suggests the hesperidin can help to prevent the oxidative damage by scavenging the free radicals. Oral hesperidin lowered the blood pressure and it improved blood vessel function in two clinical trials on almost 100 overweight but otherwise healthy men. Similarly, the hesperidin lowered blood pressure and reduced inflammation in one trial on 64 people with type 2 diabetes and improved blood vessel function in one on 24 people with metabolic syndrome. A similar flavonoid, hesperitin, promoted blood vessel widening in a small trial on 10 women and in a cell-based study. Daily consumption of orange lowered the blood sugar in a small trial on 10 apparently healthy women. Similarly, a supplement with hesperidin and other citrus flavonoids reduced the blood sugar insulin resistance, systemic inflammation and the oxidative stress in a trial on over 100 pre-diabetic people, helping to reverse their condition. In diabetic rats, oral hesperidin mildly decreased the blood glucose levels and helped to prevent eye damage or retinal vasculopathy. Hesperidin also helped to prevent diabetic complications by reducing the oxidative stress, as was seen in two clinical trials on 28 people with type 1 diabetes and 64 people with type 2 diabetes. Hesperidin and P. synephrine from the bitter orange extract increased the rate at which the body burns calories, or the metabolic rate, in a clinical trial on 50 volunteers. A combination of water-soluble hesperidin and caffeine reduced stomach fat, body weight and BMI in another trial on 75 modestly overweight people. The hesperidin increased adipocetin, a protein hormone that helps to control glucose and fat energy production in diabetic rats. Eating citrus fruit or drinking their juice lowered the blood cholesterol levels in 10 trials on over 500 people. However, the actual contribution of hesperidin to this effect is less clear and it probably needs to act synergistically with the other citrus flavonoids. A clinical trial on 65 people found hesperidin reduced the LDL oxidation. It helps to prevent cholesterol buildup in the arteries. Conversely, both hesperidin and other citrus flavonoids like norinogen failed to lower cholesterol in a trial on over 200 people with high blood cholesterol. In rats who were fed a high cholesterol diet, the hesperidin supplementation reduced the total cholesterol levels by preventing both its production and its uptake. Hesperidin's antioxidant properties might protect the brain from oxidative damage. In a clinical trial on 37 healthy elderly people, consuming orange juice enriched with hesperidin and other flavones for eight weeks significantly improved the cognitive function. In rats, the pretreatment with hesperidin and curcumin protected the brain against a sugar that causes oxidative damage in the brain, D-galactose. It reduced cognitive impairment by preventing nerve cell death. In mice with Alzheimer's, the hesperidin administration reduced the symptoms such as the learning and the memory problems or the reduced physical activity. And pretreatment with hesperidin and L arginine slightly protected against memory loss in rats who are recovering from a stroke. Oestrogen deficiency during menopause causes bone loss and osteoporosis. 
in a clinical trial on 12 healthy postmenopausal women, a hesperidin supplement combined with calcium prevented bone loss. However, the hesperidin alone was only effective in mice. In these animals, it reduced the amount of the cells that break down the bone tissue to release the minerals, the osteoclasts. Androgen deficiency can also cause bone loss. Male androgen deficient mice who are fed a diet with hesperidin had less bone loss compared to mice who are fed a normal diet. In the body, the gut microbiota transforms hesperidin into hesperidin 7 glucuronide. Its administration in rats helps to increase bone cell formation. In rats with stress induced depression, oral hesperidin reduced the depressive symptoms. This might be due to its control of the hypothalamic pituitary axis, which is the stress response system. The opioid system is also a contributing factor to major depression, and hesperidin reduced depressive symptoms, possibly by interacting with this system in mice. Hesperidin also lowered the glucose and inflammation levels in diabetic rats, and this enhanced brain function and reduced depressive symptoms. Stress increases oxidative damage in the body and it activates the hypothalamic pituitary axis. Hesperidin's antioxidant activity helps to reduce this stress in mice. Hesperidin helped reduce pain in mice with pain due to prolonged inflammation. It stopped cytokine production by blocking NF-kappa-B activity. A combination of hesperidin and diosmin relieved pain that was caused by nerve cell damage in rats. Topical hesperidin balanced the skin barrier function and it stimulated skin cell production in healthy mice. A topical formulation with hesperidin derived compound reduced inflammation and oxidative damage caused by UV radiation in mice and in cells. A study found the valerian plant produces hesperidin and other flavonoids and these compounds have sedative effects. Further animal studies found hesperidin enhances the sedative and pain relieving effect of diazepam, possibly by interacting with the opioid receptor. The oral ingestion of hesperidin in mice helped to stop allergic reactions in the asthmatic mice. Both hesperidin and hesperitin may neutralize reactive oxygen species, possibly preventing oncogenes from turning healthy cells into cancerous cells. For instance, hesperidin injection protects rats from the oxidative damage caused by gamma radiation. In rats, orange and satsuma mandarin that was enhanced with hesperidin significantly reduced the incidence of colon and lung cancer. In male rats with colon cancer, the hesperidin administration stopped the tumour growth and it promoted cancer cell death. Additionally, hesperidin stopped the growth and the spread of lung cancer cells. It blocked blood vessel formation, which contributes to tumour growth. In clinical trials, hesperidin and juices or fruits that contain the flavonoid were generally safe and only occasionally caused mild digestive effects like diarrhoea, stomach pain or upset digestion. Similarly, its combination with diosmin caused no major side effect in clinical trials. Hesperidin can slow blood clotting and it can increase blood flow and this can help to prevent heart disease but it can also worsen bleeding disorders or increase the risk of bleeding in people who are undergoing surgical procedures. Because it can lower blood pressure people who are diagnosed with low blood pressure might want to avoid hesperidin to prevent the pressure from dropping too low. For more on herbs, supplements and natural treatment plans check out my website.